Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for December 15th. Today's devotion is titled Water into Hope, and the Bible reading is from John chapter 4, verses 4 to 14. He had to go through Samaria on the way. Eventually, he came to the Samaritan village of Sychar, or Sychar, <laughs> near the field that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat wearily beside the well about noontime. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at the time because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised, for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Jesus replied, if you only knew the gift of God, if you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. But sir, you don't have a rope for a bucket, she said, and this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water? And besides, do you think you're greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us this well? How can you offer better water than he and his sons and his animals enjoyed? Jesus replied, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again, but those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Tom and Mark's ministry refreshes lives. This is clear in the video they share of a group of fully clad children laughing and dancing in the refreshing water of an open shower, their first ever. The men work with indigenous churches to install water filtration systems on wells in Haiti, easing and lengthening lives as diseases connected to contaminated water are prevented. Access to clean, fresh water gives the people hope for their future. Jesus referred to living water in John chapter 4 to capture a similar idea of a continual source of refreshment. Tired and thirsty, Jesus had asked a Samaritan woman for a drink. This request led to a conversation in which Jesus offered the woman living water, water that would become a source of life and hope within them like a spring of water welling up to eternal life. We discover what this living, wa <clears throat> living water is later in John when Jesus said, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink, declaring that whoever believed in him would have rivers of living water flowing from within them. John explains, By this he meant the Spirit. Through the Spirit, believers are united to Christ and have access to the boundless power, hope, and joy found in God. Like living water, the Spirit lives inside believers, refreshing and renewing us. How has Jesus satisfied your thirst through his Spirit? How will you share what Jesus has done for you? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion and I hope you all have a wonderful day.